Roadfly.com, the internet's best resource for buyers, sellers, and owners like you. Welcome to Roadfly TV. I'm Jesse Lang here to give you an inside look at the 2010 Acura ZDX. Equipped with some of the best features in the Acura lineup, the ZDX is style-minded and innovative, not to mention it's one of the most affordable cars in the midsize luxury crossover class. It's really dominant and futuristic looking, it's sort of otherworldly. And it's got the body styling of a sports car, but the big dimensions and the big wheels of an SUV. It's got accentuated, widely sculpted fenders, an all-glass roof, and these very cool hidden door handles. It has lots of cut lines on its side, which aren't very obvious on models with dark paint colors. There's also a bunch of bumps in the fender that sort of disrupt the visual flow to the rear end. Two things that really stand out to me are the strong, pronounced grille, which sharply contrasts with the body color, and the dramatic sloping roof line. Now, the sloping roof line, while it looks pretty cool, it definitely limits the headroom. And the doors are very small, so getting in and out of the back is tricky at best. Now, once you're in here, it's pretty cozy, but if you're a taller passenger or a bigger passenger, it's not gonna be nearly as comfortable. And exiting is also tricky. It's hard to get out of this vehicle gracefully. Now, the front seats pose similar challenges. You've got a pretty high step up, so you're undoubtedly gonna hit your pants against it as you step in. But once inside, it's a really nice cockpit. It's very spacious, you've got ample room. The ZDX has a 3.7 liter V6 engine that's paired with a six speed automatic transmission which has paddle shifters on the steering wheel and it produces 300 horsepower and 270 pound feet of torque. As for cargo capacity, you've got just over 26 cubic feet of space and when you put down the second row of seats, you've got just over 55 cubic feet. There's also a lot of handy storage compartments both on the base and on the sides where you can put your valuables. And it has the all important power down button which is really necessary um, for drivers like me who only weigh 100 pounds. Inside, it's filled with a lot of nice, high-quality touches. All of the surfaces are sleek and smooth. Tons of things are wrapped in leather. And the carpets in here are nicer than the carpets in my apartment. Now, another thing that's really nice about this car is that the power tailgate, the rear view camera, the iPod integration, uh, Bluetooth connectivity, and the moonroof all come standard. Now the radar for the adaptive cruise control also enables the collision mitigating braking system, which when it's sensing an impending crash, pretensions the seat belts and applies the brakes. So a few times as I closed in on slowing traffic ahead of me, the system flashed a sign on the instrument cluster warning me to apply my brakes. Now the advanced package encompasses everything available in the technology package, which includes the keyless ignition and entry, um, an upgraded Acura ELS surround sound stereo with built-in 15 gig um, hard drive, as well as the navigation with real-time traffic and weather. And there's also an optional system called Song by Voice, which uses voice recognition to uh, play music from your iPod. And it works really well. I even named songs um, that are written in other languages and it was able to identify them and play them. Now the ZDX has conventional uh, suspension and steering components, not electronic or fully active like some of its competitors. And the steering is a little numb. I would like it if it gave me a bit more feedback. Um, but the steering radius is actually pretty decent. You can make some pretty tight U-turns. However, the dimensions of the vehicle with these big wide sides and a long nose make it really tricky to judge the space around it. So thank God for the backup camera, but it would be really cool if there were side cameras as well. The engine's a bit loud, a little unnecessarily loud, um, and the torque at low speeds isn't very impressive. I'd like it if it had more aggressive transmission mapping and more horsepower. As for the fuel economy, you get about 16 miles per gallon in the city and 23 on the highway. So it's not horrible, but it's not fantastic either. The base model, which has all-wheel drive, costs about $45,000. If you add the tech package, it's coming in at just under $50,000. And our car, which has the advanced package, uh, costs just over fifty-six. dollars With its unique aesthetic, driving dynamics, and easy-to-use luxury features, the 2010 Acura ZDX is a one-of-a-kind ride. That's all today for Roadfly TV. I'm Jesse Lang and I want to hear from you. Send us your comments, converse with me on our message boards, and join the Roadfly community by subscribing to our channel. Getting in and out, it's tricky at best. Ow! <laughs>
<laughs> oh, see, that's a perfect example. <laughs> and I'm little. <laughs> Okay. Oh, it's very difficult to gracefully exit this vehicle. <laughs> How about... <laughs> Four dudes are trying to back a trailer into a space. I think they've tried about 35 times and we're waiting for them to turn off the truck so we can tape. But they can't get it right! <laughs> and I'm ready to throw something at them. They spent 15 minutes trying to back this trailer up and now they can't unhitch it. Oh. <laughs> this is my childish frustration dance. Roadfly.com, the internet's best resource for buyers, sellers, and owners like you.